Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. Serenade has released a new set of e-fileable USCIS forms, which are the N336, the G28, the I765, I821D, and the N565, with more USCIS forms being released soon. This video will go over how to e-file these forms. Let us log into our caseworker portal. Let us locate a case profile with one of these forms. From the form section, let us access a form like the IA21D. We will proceed to work on the form, and once finished with the form, click on save, and exit the form. Once ready to e-file, we will lock the form. We will then go to the e-filing column and click on schedule, to send it to the e-filer. When clicking schedule, you will see a pop-up appear. The reason this pop-up appears is the form has miscellaneous fields, and to ensure things transfer properly to the US site, you must confirm the information on these sections, fill out missing fields, or reformat any answer you had. Let us click on Next. You will now see the questions. You will see some sections transferred over properly from the form, and some did not. If the field was empty on the form, it is up to you to manually insert the information here. If the form had information but appears blank here, you will see what answer you had in red text. You will then re-input the answer in the format that is acceptable on the USCIS site. You will also see a mandatory checkbox at the top. If clicked, it will only show mandatory questions you have to answer to be able to e-file. If you uncheck this, this will show other questions that may apply to your client depending on the answer you had on their form, but are not mandatory to e-file. Please note that any reformatted answers you enter here will only remain here and go to the e-filer. This will not transfer back to the form. Because of this, we still recommend having the information filled out on the form before reformatting the questions here. Additionally, this miscellaneous e-filing box not only appears when scheduling a form. If you save a form and go back into a form to edit, you will notice a new section on the black toolbar up top titled e-filing validation. If clicked, it will prompt the same miscellaneous e-filing box. You have the option of completing the questions here before scheduling the form to be e-filed. Let us continue. Once reviewing the questions and formatting it properly, you can click on Save and Schedule. Your form has now been sent to the e-filer. If you have not downloaded the e-filer, this can be done by hovering over the tools on the left and clicking on e-filing. You will then see a link at the bottom with the latest version. You will download it to your computer and install it. Please note that there are prerequisites that you may need to download as well. Those are available on this page. Also, please note that this download is only required once you do not have to come back and re-download every time you have to e-file. Once the e-filer is downloaded to your PC, you can locate it on your computer and click to open the application. You will be asked to input your website, which is applied on the e-filing page we just saw in the caseworker portal, and you will then be asked to input your login credentials. Once logged in, you will see your scheduled forms. You will then be taken into the USCIS site to log in with your credentials. You will then proceed to locate the e-fileable form. You will proceed with reading the instructions from the USCIS site and confirming, and once in the form, the Populate Data button will appear. When clicked, it will transfer the information you had on e-immigration and bring it into your e-fileable form. You will go page by page reviewing, clicking Populate Data, until completing the form. Once finished, you will see the tab titled Mark as Complete. Click on it. You will then be asked to enter a reference number and finalize by clicking on Mark as Complete. By doing so, the form disappears from the scheduled forms list and the next time you go into the case, the status will change to Complete and include the reference number. This means you have successfully e-filed the form. Now in some instances, when e-filing a form, you will be asked to submit another form simultaneously, like a G28 for example, which is possible with our software. To e-file multiple forms, you want to make sure both forms are finished on e-immigration, scheduled, any miscellaneous fields have been reformatted, and both appear as scheduled on the e-filer. When inside the USCIS site and on the e-fileable form like the I-130, if the form asks for G-28 info, you will click on the scheduled G-28 on the left. A warning will appear letting you know you are switching forms. You will confirm by clicking yes, as you no longer need the I-130 you were e-filing, and now want to e-file the G28. The section on the right will refresh and take you to the list of forms on the USCIS site. You will locate the I-130 you were e-filing for your client. 
you will go to the section that asks for G28 info and you will see that the populate data button will appear. You will click on populate data. You will proceed to go page by page clicking the populate data button inputting the G28 information. This concludes our video on the new e-fileable forms.